family welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back today's video we just discussed the 12 pillars of success as described by Jim Rohn if this is something that you are interested in learning please stick around and if you are new to this little corner of the internet you are welcome to join the family and hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss a thing I value your time and I do not want to waste any of it let us get right into the video before I get to the 12 pillars I just thought maybe I should share with you my journey with success my understanding of what it means and how I've come to where I've come in my journey of success now I have never defined success as being wealthy right for me success is setting a goal working towards it and achieving it. The main point for me is about living wholesomely and purposefully, being in a place in your life where you are okay with who you are inside and outside. And that's what success means to me. And I feel like even the definition of it is very fluid and allows each of us to define what success is and then live up to that. So for a very long time, I always knew that my philosophy in life was I wanted to stay at home and that required me making a lot of money, giving me the freedom to do what I wanted, which would be to be a stay at home mom and wife. And so for me, success included having quite a bit of money, right? So I don't have that money yet, but we'll get there hopefully one day. So how I started my success journey was to break it down in bite sizes right first was to get a lot of information on how i would be that stay-at-home mom right so i didn't want to be a burden to my husband so i needed to bring in an income so i said okay that means i would have to run a business suffice to say i have tried i think a million businesses which have not worked but i'm still still trying currently i am selling scarves side by side my job please get in touch for those the thrifted scarves and they're pretty pretty cool so anyway when i was in university you know early early this is post grad i had just finished my bar exams i had a friend on facebook who constantly posted about success and whatnot and i thought you know what this person knows a lot about success so i slid into his dms and i said hey look i'm looking for a coach who can help me in this success thing because I'm very passionate and I would like, you know, to grow a business one day because I'd like to be a stay-at-home mom, yada, 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 yada. Then he said, hey, you know what, I actually do that as a side hustle. And he gave me a quote. Long story short, we started that journey. And that was sort of the first step um, towards actually making progress towards success, right? Because the, for the first time now, apart from just reading books, I took my savings and paid for a personal development class. It was during this personal development class that I came across the 12 Pillars of Success by Jim Rohn. And I think they apply to every area you want to be successful in. So maybe you just want to pass an exam, right? There's need to balance. Maybe you want to be a CEO or you want to have a multi-million dollar business. There's certain things that you have to balance to have this wholesome purpose for life okay and that's what i value about these things called the 12 pillars of success by jim Rohn. so i have a computer and i will be looking down so the first one that jim Rohn talks about is personal development the need for you to increase your skill set now personal development includes reading improving the quality of your thoughts and you know just generally improving yourself yeah. a student of law it means putting in time reading interning listening to podcasts how did people do it before you and things like that if you're a business person what are the trends you need to learn some of the economics if you want to be a ceo what are the qualifications needed the second one is health right your body is the only place you have to live so what's the point of having a gazillion dollars if your body is not healthy and you are just about to pass out and die you won't even be able to enjoy these things so it calls for regular exercise now a lot of the time i find that people go so hard you know where you want to be in the gym every day um so you have to set some health goals right so there's power in consistency he he jim ron talked about the importance of walking around the blocks for 20 minutes every day it makes a bigger difference than you hitting the gym 
one, two, three, four, five times this week, but next week you are so discouraged you don't hit the gym for six months and then you wait another six months to go to the gym and go hard. What is more beneficial is you doing those 20 minutes around the block every day or even 20 minutes around the block three times a week. But it's important to set realistic health goals. Being deliberate about adding vegetables, drinking water, uh, eating healthy, choosing freshly squeezed juices over carbonated drinks, uh, sleeping early. So those are small, small choices that come to make um, the bigger piece of the life puzzle, right? And then there's relationships. What's the point of being so busy? So you're a CEO, your job is so, so demanding, right? You are successful in that one area, right, of the job, but if you don't see your family, you don't see your friends because you're either too busy or just tired trying to catch up on work. So it calls for you finding balance. When can you apply for leave and when can you engage these people? Can you take your lunch hour when you have one hour to send your spouse a message, to check on your friend, hear how they're doing? Are you able, because you're also a boss, you have some of these leverages to go to activities and say, you know what, I'm busy in this space and you go and visit with your kids, right? So it's just being deliberate. And then the next one, which is number four, is goal setting. Look. You can have all these grand ideas about where you want to go, but if you're not clear about how you plan to get there, and like I said, you have to break it down into bite sizes. Yes, I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, but I didn't know what business I would do. I had no proper business ideas. I tried network marketing, I sold eggs, I sold rice, I sold all sorts of things, right? But I needed to know with clarity where it is I was going before I gave up on the job or my education completely. And to be honest, I'm just grateful to my parents who would never let me quit because they saw that I didn't actually have a plan, right? So goal setting is very important and I plan to do a whole video on this. So your goals must be smart, they should be realistic, they should be time bound and all that good stuff. And then time management, like I even talked about earlier in relationships, you can only balance this out manage your relationships your health and everything if you have the basic skills of time management right so you need to know how to allocate your time in order to achieve what you want and then networking there's always someone who knows more than you i've done a whole video networking is like one of my greatest weaknesses i'm still wait, working on it even on sunday i lost an opportunity for networking because i froze more in more details in another video so you need to be around people who know more than you and learn from them and yeah there's lots of uh, podcasts on this and videos on YouTube and go out to events now the world has opened up even though we do have COVID um, the world has opened up and we can go out and interact and then learning new skills really it just speaks for itself learn learn new skills because you don't know where that extra buck could come from to to help you and here it says learning is the beginning of health wealth and spirituality therefore self-education is very important and, and i really like that here yeah, i really do and then influencing others when you have learned pass it on share it like i'm doing now look i i'm not yet rich but i could tell you the stories of how i failed at Ciale, and these are the principles that helped me during that time is to keep going to set goals i set goals i plan to clear at least this a number of courses and i did clear those because i was more focused so i did end up with my practicing license and here i am and now the goal is to aim for entrepreneurship and become a bit more clear how i intend to wind down the job life and transition into consulting and then building my business as well it's becoming more clear and i'm glad that we are on this journey together and you'll be able to see how i'll put this into practice and see if they work or if they don't i don't plan to give up i'm not one of those it could take me 10 20 years but rest assured i will be on it the lord giving me breath for the next 50, 70, 100 years. Yeah, so number eight is influencing others. When you learn, pass it on, like I am doing now. And then there's financial planning. You can't give in to every whim, okay? So it's very difficult to get rich while you have a job, right? Because it means that you're trying to get rich of your salary, 
So you have to cut back on a lot of things. It also means if you are trying to get rich while you're on a job, you will get rich later in life as opposed to someone who will quit their job, right, to focus on their business. That person will most likely get richer quicker because they will feel the pain of not receiving a salary. They will look stupid for the time being. But once their, their plan works, and I need to put in a disclaimer, this plan must be based on smart goals. It must be clear. It must be scalable. And it, you know, you must have an idea that works and you're feeling a need in the society. So if you have that solid plan and you quit your job and you're working towards it, you may find that you suffer maybe 10 years. But once that's done, you're sorted for life. While the rest of us who are on this side, who are trying to balance a job and then be an entrepreneur as well, or maybe self-employed it will take us um, a little longer so how we manage our finances is what will help us um, actually become successful i hope i'm making sense then leadership so true leaders help others to achieve their vision which is similar to the other one when you learn pass it on you have nothing to lose and the last one is legacy okay what's the point of doing life if you can't pass on a legacy you know that is good and that is life changing um, leave a legacy for your children for your church um, for your friends if it's for your children don't just leave them money leave them knowledge leave them videos like this so they can look back on them and learn another thing I need to say about success is you have to accept what the pros and the cons of what success means to you. So if you want to be a CEO, know that you're going to be in the rat race of a job for the rest of your life. Okay? You're going to be stressed, you're going to be tired. If you choose that you want to be a wealthy person and an entrepreneur, you choose those risks, right? Of knowing that you might suffer for a long time before something pays off, but you will have the freedom. So you have to calculate and I don't think people who choose the CEO way or even just middle management job or whoever, whatever you decide that success means to you, I do not think anyone in each class or each group of people should judge another person for what they choose to define what success is. But the goal is for you to live a wholesome, purposeful life. Accept your situation. This was your choice. This is what success means to you. And if you find that it's not working for you, it's never too late. You can still change what um, success means to you. And for me, in breaking it down in bite sizes, uh, I live in a difficult <coughs> economy and I didn't have um, the skills and knowledge. So I chose the education path and all this while I tried to learn in the last like 10 or 15 years. And 10 and 15 years of learning between school and entrepreneurship, it's a long time. And in this period, they've been like 10 or 15 equally small businesses that have failed, money that has tanked, right? And then I'm starting over. So success means different things to different people. And don't judge another person. The point is try and find your success and live wholesomely and purposefully so that you can sleep at night with yourself as a human being. And if you find that that's not happening, you're always free to change the course and start over. And it is never too late, whether you are 12, 15, 20, 30, or even 50, you can always change the trajectory of your time. But the most important thing is to get educated about where you want to go. So that's all I had for today. I'm so grateful you made time to join me and sit with me. If you enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to make more. So I have to love and leave you. This has been Hupe. Until the next one, remember to subscribe and hit that notification button. Bye.